Jaws Jr. here for another adventure. This adventure is taking us to the Oregon coast. We were where we're going to take the mobile entertainment command center to Beach Beachside State Park. Yeah, right now it's raining here at the world headquarters of Jaws Jr. Entertainment, but that is okay. We we're going to leave a couple hours ago, but you know, thought, you know, we're pulling that. No reason to rush it. We'll wait for the heaviest rain to quit and pass on, which it has. This light drizzle is going to be no big deal. So, this trip is going to be fun. Just uh, four days, three nights. We're going to do some rock counting, which is going to be in a separate videos, if we find anything. Hopefully, we are going to see some whales, if it's not some uh, too foggy and overcast. And I can get my good camera out to uh, show that. Other than that, everybody, hang along for the ride. We're gonna take you along for the for the drive, and we'll take you on into Beachside State Park and see what happens. I have no idea which direction we're gonna go with this. So I'm gonna lock up the shop, get everything rolling, get inside there with Simon, of course. We cannot forget about the Simon. It's all about the Simon. And we'll have a close-up and maybe an interview with Simon. That'll be fun. Talk to you soon. We are in Newport. Kind of a nasty, windy, rainy day. But it's better than being at work. Okay, everybody, we got here, local time, 1,500 and 15 hours, so 315. It is now, I can't see that, 1534. Less than 20 minutes, we were completely set up, and we are living. And... There's the ocean, there's the ocean, and there's a place to walk down to it. 
I'm sorry for any wind. We're going to have to deal with it this trip. And there's the ocean right there. Mind you, let's do this here. There's the ocean, panning slowly, panning slowly. There's the RV, panning slowly, panning slowly. As Camper Van Kevin says, there's the ocean. Again, let's make sure you understand how close we are. It is right there, even the seagulls. There you go. Cannot complain about this whatsoever. I thought we were actually going to be in that spot or that spot, so I made a mistake and we were in that one, which is fine. Because the gentleman in this motorhome I spoke to already, yes, in less than 20 minutes, already talking to the neighbors. Why do you think I'm called it? Jaws Jr. But he's going to let me go ahead and set up a camera in the back there by that log. He said, no problem. So, there we are. Always a good thing to know here on the Oregon coast, the tsunami evacuation map. And we are right there. Now everybody, I was just mentioning, it is all about the Simon. Look at him. He better watch out, he may just fall off that bed if he tries to roll over. Simon, come here. Yeah. It's all about the Simon, isn't it? He's camera shy. He does not like having the camera pointed at him. Yeah. Just like his mama, the Mrs. Jaws Jr., who's right here, and she would hit me if I put her on camera. So otherwise, we're sitting here admiring the handsome Simon, because it's all about him. Hey, everybody. Well, time to do a quick check-in. You know, yeah, it's noisy, but there's a good reason why it's noisy. I got it so rough. Yeah, the campsite, 75 yards away, if that. It's a beautiful day here on the Oregon coast, beginning of spring break for those who have it. Quite a few people out here, actually. This is quite, I mean, that's quite a few people, if you can see them. And then we'll go around to this side. There's a few more people down that way. Yeah, really hating life right now, can't you tell? Just a uh, wonderful, relaxing weekend. But for our campsite has been phenomenal for those of you with uh, RVs come to the Oregon coast just come to the Oregon coast even if it's downpouring rain don't let that stop you it's just a wonderful place to come you can camp anywhere from Astoria all the way down to the California border it's a fun relaxing place so, tomorrow, day of depression. Load up, go home. And all I'll do is I'll show you uh, us doing the final pack up, which takes us 10 minutes. Hooking the trailer up, which just takes us five minutes. And we'll be out of here. Already have uh, the Tahoe gassed up, ready to go, unfortunately. And we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the best of it, including the Simon, but he's actually inside. He's tuckered out. He was out on the beach, wandering the beach earlier today with the Mrs. Jaws Jr. So, 
The two of them were inside with the doors and windows wide open, taking a nap. Again, this is March, mid-60s. Can't ask for anything better here on the Oregon coast. I've been here before, then it just dumps buckets and buckets of rain for this very same weekend in years past. Even some long time people that's been out here, coming out here for years on end, said they've never seen anything like it. I'm not complaining, this is actually enjoyable. So, this is what we got. How can you go wrong? For those of you in the upper Midwest who's still dealing with snow and cold weather, and unfortunately for those that's down along the Missouri River who's getting flooded out, God, my heart goes out to you. But you know, there's a reason why I live out here on the West Coast. Not every day can you come out and enjoy this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys to last night's sunset. And I'll speed it up just to show you guys what it looks like. Just incredible. And then I'll cut back in. It'll be tomorrow. Thus heading out. I hope you really enjoyed this adventure of us camping on the Oregon coast.
Well, our camping trip is coming to an end. I'm out, as you can tell, just had a nice walk on the co on the beach. Behind me is the campground. Again, this place is just amazing. For all of you who are thinking about camping or who like to go camping on a regular basis, just get out there and do it. It doesn't matter. You don't need to be in a motor home or a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. You got a tent. There's all kinds of tent spots here. You don't need to be in a state park. You can go boondock somewhere out on BLM land or public lands or go to a private, uh, privately owned RV park. Also the Corps of Engineers. There's also your state and county and local parks. Get out and go camping. Have a good time. You can have adventures like this or your own adventures. So we're going to go up to the trailer here, get things ready, and head back to the home front. Well, everybody, this camping adventure is done. We're hooked up. Yeah, I know, I've got a marker light out. You can see it toppling out, so that's something I gotta look at. But we're all hooked up. All we have to do is back up to get the wheeled shocks out, pull forward to get the board out, leveling board out, and we are out of here. Just remember everybody, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, having fun camping. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one everybody, see ya.